Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing Skibidi Boss Toilet. So let's get started, get a pen and paper. And I'm going to start with two circles that are going to be his eyes. And then in those circles, do two smaller ones. And then outside the larger circles, I'm going to do a circle around most of it. And then I'm going to do kind of this squiggly line. And basically because his nose is scrunched up, it makes it kind of squiggle right there. All right, let's go down to the nose just below the left eye. We'll just curl like that with a little bump for the front of the nose and then curl the other side. And then because his mouth is open, we're gonna bring his cheek lines over and down. All right, now let's do the mouth shape. The mouth shape is gonna be a frown shape first, and then a big smiley face after that. And then bring a line across on the inside, and that's gonna be for his teeth. We'll just create these little bumps for the top of the teeth. And we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom with, I'm gonna just put a little tongue right in there. And I'll fill in the inside black. All right, let's go back right above the eyes. We'll create these big, curved, angry eyebrows on both sides. I like that, it looks good. All right, let's go ahead and do his head shape. His head shape is um, mostly gonna be like a rounded chin, comes down, back up, and his forehead is pretty square. So we'll just come up, we'll create a little curve for the hair, but there's not much to it. Add a couple, couple of bumps on the sides for the ear and then bring his hair up and just kind of follow the contour of the whole head. And I'm gonna fill that in black too. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna add two lines for his neck and then an oval for the toilet bowl. And I'll fill that in black too. And then just create another oval that follows the shape of the other one, and that'll be the toilet seat with the tank coming out of the right side of his head and up, and the left side of the head and up. And just curve along the top, put one line through, and there we go, we've got the main part. Let's add in a couple of guns. So down below his head, I'm gonna do an oval. And we'll just create a couple lines that come off of that with another oval. And that's gonna give us kind of this um, gun shape. And then he has kind of this armor. And if you just draw some diagonal lines, I'm going to add a little bit of depth on mine, but just some di diagonal lines that come down almost like they're wooden planks. That's what they're going to look like. I'll do that on both sides. Give me kind of this shield. Add a little dimensions. And then don't forget the outside of the toilet bowl lines, which is kind of important. All right, last up, let's do his one of his guns on the right. So draw another circle, and then a circle inside of that, and a circle on the outside. So a lot of circles. All right, and then let's do two more that are over to the right hand side. It doesn't matter really where they are. 
um, just somewhere over there on the right. Then I'll do two circles inside and then do a line with a little smiley face between the two. And then we're gonna do kind of a hexagon shape, but it's not really a hexagon because it's not finished, but it's gonna go and connect these outside. And then on the inside, I'm gonna just do this kind of squiggly line. Um, it doesn't really matter the shape, I just, I want the inside to be squiggles and then the outside to be a straight line that kind of follows the shape of the gun. And that's gonna be kind of just one of the casing spots. I'll fill that in dark. And now I'm gonna just add a little bit of detail. You can do this however you want. I'll do a little rectangle there. It comes up, it'll follow over here. I know it's gonna come down like that. I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Um, this is supposed to be his arm, right? So maybe just add a couple squares, a circle, and I think I'm good with this. I hope you guys had fun today. Make sure you follow along for future videos, and I'll see you next time.